Hey, what's happening gang? Welcome to your 11th Git and GitHub tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can collaborate on GitHub. All right, so in the last tutorial, I showed you how to set up a remote repository on GitHub. And we also cloned that repository onto our computer so that the two were in sync. So we had one computer, one local version of our repository, and we also had a remote version of that repository and we could push our changes from the local version up to the remote repository. Make sense? Now that's all cool, but I didn't really show you how we'd work in a team on GitHub. We only had me on the local computer and then the remote version on GitHub. So there's just one of me pushing to it. Now there's only one of me, so I can't show you exactly how all four of us would work on a team but what I am going to do is walk you through a typical workflow that I do in the office um, if I was working on github on a project with about three or four other people so then in the last tutorial we made this repo on github uh, crap portfolio and it's just got a couple of files in at the minute and we cloned this repository to our local computer so now I want you to imagine that this is the project that I'm going to be working on in an office with maybe three or four other developers and we're all using this remote repository okay so I've got this repository already cloned to my desktop and um, we can see that right here there's nothing much in it at the minute but say I come into the office and I've got some new work to do in this project the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pull to keep my files locally up to date with the remote repository just in case any of the other developers has made any changes so to do that what I'm going to say is make sure I'm on master first of all the master branch because that's what I want to merge to then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say git pull and then I'll say the origin because that's the alias we're pulling from. That's our remote repository. And then we're going to pull the master branch. So what a git pull does is it fetches all of the code from the remote and then it merges it into our master branch because that's what we've said right here, master, right? And we're on the master branch. So it's going to pull the master branch from the remote into the master branch onto our local and update all of the files. In this case, no one's made any other changes and everything's already up to date. So that's fine. But I do that just in case there were changes that other people had made in the meantime. Cool. So we're all up to date. Now, the next thing I'd do if I was working on a new feature is I'd check out a new branch because we want to preserve the state of this master branch. We don't want to edit it and potentially mess it up. So to do that, I'm going to say git checkout, then hyphen B for a new branch. And what I'll check out is a branch called index HTML. All right, because I'm going to work on this HTML page over here. So imagine now, oops, I've spelled checkout wrong. So let's just go back and correct that. That's right. Cool, so we're on this new branch now, and what I'm gonna do is pad out this HTML file. So what I'm not gonna do is just write out all of the HTML from scratch. I'm just gonna paste this in, all right? Because I'm sure you all already know HTML. Anyway, this is just some simple HTML to make a portfolio site. So all that's done now, I'm gonna save it, and I'm not gonna add an S on the end. I'm gonna save it, and what I'm gonna do is add this to the staging area. So I'm gonna say git add, and then I'll say git commit because we're going to commit to this branch. A message is going to be added index HTML. So we've made that commit. And now what we want to do is take this code and we want to push it back up to the remote repository. Now, what we don't do, first of all, is merge this into the master branch locally and then push up the master branch. Because if we do that, it's just going to override the master branch on the remote repository. And the rest of my developers and my manager might not be pleased with that because they might not agree with the code that I've done. Ideally, what we want to do is push this branch up to the remote so that my peers, my other colleagues and my manager can review that code. And then they can all decide if we want to merge this into the master branch on the remote repository so that everyone then can download and pull from the master branch to the remote repository to update their local files. Make sense? So what we're going to do is push up this branch. So to do that, I'm going to say git push and then we're going to origin and then the branch name that I want to push up is index hyphen html all right so that is going to push up this branch and we should get feedback in a second cool so that's all done and now we can check out the github repository so you can see right here it's auto updated already so that's really cool and what i'm going to do is click this button compare and pull request which means we're going to compare the differences between these changes and the current state of the master branch and we can then make a pull request which means we want to merge it into the master branch on this repository so I'm gonna do that first of all 
And on the next page, this is the message we added to the commit, which is cool. Uh, we can also leave a comment, which is good practice. You want to explain exactly what you've done so other developers and your manager can read that and it's explicit. Um, then what we can do is create this pull request. So I'm going to create this pull request and that means I'm putting in a request that I want to merge this branch into the master branch on this repository, right? So when I do this, other developers are going to get like a ping or a notification and they're going to come to this and they can review it and we can assign reviewers right here. Currently, I'm working on my own, boohoo. But if you were working in a team, other people would show here and you could assign one of those to review your code. So. They could come down here, they could read this, and it says this branch has no conflicts with the base branch, so merging can be, uh, be performed automatically. That's cool, so there's going to be no conflicts if we merge into master. That's always a good sign. Now, if they wanted to write a comment about this code, they could do that here. Um, I'll just put good work, because it is good work. And then also what they could do is they could go down, and by the way, that comment goes there. They could go down here, uh, rather, they could go up here, and they could see the commits that I've made and the files that have changed. So you can come in here and all the green stuff is stuff that I've added in. Red stuff is stuff that I've deleted. So they can see all the changes in the code right there. And if you wanted to, they could add in a comment here, line by line. Okay, so if there's something they don't agree with, they can add in a comment there. Um, I'll just put, I don't like span tags. But whatevs. Okay and then we'll just add a single comment so we can do that and then if we're all happy with it we can go back to the master to the uh, the request sorry and we can merge this pull request right so if we merge it and confirm merge what that's going to do is take this branch that i've uploaded and it's going to pull it or rather merge it into the master branch right so now if we wanted to we can delete the branch as well because it's already been merged and then if we go now to crap portfolio to see the code, we're going to see this index. This is the master branch we're on updated. So now we've updated the master branch. Cool, right? OK, so imagine a few hours later, someone's been onto the code and they've seen that I've missed out the images and they say, hey, you need to put these images in. Can you re-upload this? So I say, OK, well, whatever. What I'm going to do is start a new branch. But remember, before I start a new feature, I always need to pull down the master branch just in case anyone's made any changes. So what I'm going to do is go to git checkout master to check out the master branch. And then what I'm going to do is say git pull origin master. OK. Now, this time, it is going to pull something down, and you can see we've got changes now. So it's updated the index page, and someone's made a change as well. So the change I made in the last section where I uploaded that branch has come down, and also someone else has made a change to this title as well. So we've updated that. It's always good practice to update the master branch, first of all, to pull down. And then what we're going to do is check out a new branch for this new image feature. So let's say git checkout. And then hyphen B to say new branch and then image update. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the images. So we'll right click over here and we'll go to new folder and I'm going to say image. And I'm just going to drag. In fact, we'll rename this. Let's call it assets. OK, and then what I'm going to do is just drag these images in. Now, I've already made these images and now you can see all of these things right here. OK, so now what we can do is we can say git add that's going to add everything then we can say git commit m then the message added images and you can see all those have been updated there now what we're going to do is push this to the remote repository so we'll say git push origin and then the branch name was image update so img update click enter Cool, so that's now all done. So I can check out the remote repo. And if we come over here, we can see that branch. So again, I'll compare and pull. And you can write a comment in here if you want to. Um, what I'm going to do is create this pull request. And then we can see the files changed over here. If I was a reviewer or the manager, I could come over here, see all these different images that have been uploaded. I'm not going to wait for those to load because my internet is really bad at the minute for some reason. Anyway, go back. So those files have been added. So I notice that one's missing, so I can say, hey, can you add the missing image? All right? So I'll comment that there. So I want this person to add the missing image before we merge this request. Okay. So what I do is I go back to my code 
and I notice I have in fact missed an image out down here so I don't need to switch branches I'm going to stay on the same branch because we've not merged it or anything yet what I'm going to do is drag in the last image that I missed and then what I'll do is say git add and then I'll say git commit um, and the message is going to be added last image then I'll do a git push again I'm going to origin and still the same branch because we're still on the same branch img update so we're just pushing a further commit basically to this same branch on github all right so now that commit's been pushed up to github i can go and check out the remote repository and we can see right here added last image so that new commit has appeared on this timeline down here so i can just view that over here if i wanted to and it says this page is out of date refresh because there's now an extra file changed so now it says eight files changed and now we can see all of those files down here so as the manager now I'm completely happy with this and I'm happy to merge this into the master branch so I'm going to merge this pull request which is going to take all of these images and add them into the master branch I can delete the branch if I wanted to um, you don't have to delete the branch by the way um, you can keep it so you can refer to it in the future but I'm going to delete it in this case so if we go to the code now you can see what on the master branch and we can see now this assets folder with all the images inside it okay so that's how I typically do things on github if I was working on a project with different colleagues because then as I'm pushing up these branches and merging the branches what my other colleagues would be doing is pulling down from the master branch so any updates that I've done and merged they're going to get in their local repository and they're doing their own updates and pushing them up to github on their own branches maybe I'm reviewing them maybe a manager's reviewing them and we're merging them so we're all getting these different updates and we can all work on things at the same time really easily so that's kind of like the basics of collaborating in a team uh, what I want to do in the next tutorial is talk about forking which is something you'd maybe do if you wanted to uh, contribute to some kind of open source project maybe. So we'll go through that in the very next tutorial.